Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Lisa. And I'm Crystal. And we are Stitching the Dream. Mm. So today, oh, today we have Sparkling Ice, Classic Lemonade, and Peach, Peach. Nectarine. Yummy. Mm, love it. Um, today's Friday, the 21st of June, yeah. 2019. Um, six days six to days. StitchCon. Six days till StitchCon. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all of you for joining us and for sticking with us and for your wonderful comments. We love mm. reading your comments. Yeah. We crack up on some of them. Yeah, They're so sure. funny. Yeah. So I got a really cool comment from Teresa Corgett. Thank you so much. That was very, very kind of you. Actually, everybody with your congratulations were really cool. But Teresa... And I'm like, I know the name. Why do I know the name? Trace is the designer of my, my big hand. So I love this guy. He was, she was so fun to do. And at the time I had, the time I stitched these, I had chickens in my backyard. Um, so that was, uh, <laughs> no, it's crooked. Thank you. Anyway, I loved stitching that, Teresa. Thank you for... Uh... Everybody asked who the designer was. Yeah. And so it was so nice to have the designer actually comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and also people are asking... But you can't really see because we're angled funny. But there's a rooster above mm -hmm. the hen. Um, that's a different designer. I don't recall the name. But I will at some point um, when I get access to my my stash of patterns that are in yeah. a box in the back of a closet sometime because I still haven't completely unpacked. I will get the, um, the rooster designer name out to you guys too. Yeah. So it, I'll, I'll shoot for next week. For and you were time. saying that you actually looked Teresa up. I did. So Teresa, when, when you commented, I was like, you know what? I know I've seen other things that she, that she's designed. And, and so I was looking through your website to see what you did. And you've got one of my favorites mm -hmm. that I didn't, and I apologize. I didn't realize it was yours, and I don't know the name of it. But it's the one with the, it's like it's like a window with the lamb kind of peeking into the. And he's just adorable. He's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you've always said. And every time I see it, I'm like, yes. I've got to do that one. So now, for sure, I'll have to do it because she's I, gonna probably I'll, buy it I'll sometime probably, soon. I'll probably go today and get it and do it. Stitch gone, but. Yeah, Maybe. it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was my that was my fun story for uh, yeah related to the comment. I know I loved it. So yes, this is so weird. So living life, we both ended up at Red River Gorge mm -hmm. Natural Bridge the same weekend. Last yeah. weekend, we didn't know that each other was going. Mm -hmm. Nope. And we were going with separate groups. And, yeah, we um, had we had rented a cabin um, right. months ago for this this past weekend, and invited my my daughters and their husbands and the, the grandkids down, and um, so this has been in the works for us since probably November. Yeah, and we decided to go with a group of our friends about three weeks ago, and uh, we did tent camping <laughs> near the rain. It didn't rain. Really? On us. Oh, good. No. We, we got there, I had to work Friday, um, and we were going to go up Friday night, but then we decided we didn't want to set up everything in the dark, because there, the other group, uh, a bunch of them had gone Friday, um, because they didn't work, or they could get off, and so we got there really early Saturday morning, set up the tent, it was just really quick. Okay, this tent set a four-man person tent. A four-man person? A four-man person, you know, not... <laughs> Not animal man, but uh, <laughs> so we're in the tent and I said to my husband, there's no way four people, maybe four little boys, but, and he was like, oh, they're supposed to lay this way. And I'm like, uh, no. Um, well, if and you, John's tall too. And John's 6'1". There's no way. So if you are friends with me on Facebook, um, we posted all the pictures. Mm -hmm. And if you're not friends with me, then you should be friends with me because <laughs> I would love to be friends with you. So, um, but anyway, uh, it was, just, it, it was so much fun and I want to tell you, I broke a record. So Saturday we did a 13 mile hike Oof. up and down everywhere to go see Gray's Arch. I did 33,851 steps. Wow. Yes. 
That's a lot of steps. That was a lot of steps. And I thought I was going to die at one point because with <laughs> Gray's Arch, you have to go down, 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 then up, 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 up. Okay. I died. I mean, I just, I was. And you don't sweat. No, I don't sweat. And it sweat. was a hot oh, day Saturday. But you know what? John was so sweet. He carried a backpack with, it was 25 pounds. Yeah. Because he's been <laughs> backpack hiking. And he carried so much water. One two liter was just to pour over my head. Aww. But the other good thing about it was he had bought me one of these little things. Mm -hmm. And there's creek running all the way through. So I would always put it in the creek and put cool. it around That's and pull idea. off. And then we had tons of water to drink. And so I was, I was doing pretty good. What about you guys? Well, we went to um, Rock Bridge. I think it was called Rock Bridge. Mm -hmm. it's, it was an easy hike. We had the little kids with us, so we weren't oh, looking. Yeah. And I'm way out of shape at this point in my life, sadly. So we didn't want to do real strenuous hiking, but it was absolutely beautiful. And then we went to, um, there was a, somewhere along that path, there was a waterfall that the kids oh. could could swim in. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so we got a bunch of pictures of them. Um, was that where the boys jumped off the rock? Which no, is that? that was the, that was the oh, next wow. day. So and so we so we did now. Um, gosh, I'm getting old. Rock Rock Bridge, and then had the little waterfall. We stayed there for a while, let the kids swim, and cl climbed up and down the waterfall. That. And then we went to another place, chimney chimney top or chimney pipe chimney top. I think it was called, which gives you this gorgeous view it just overlooks the whole valley and it's mm. absolutely gorgeous mm. um so we got a lot of pictures there the yeah. the, the four-year-old fell asleep in the car <laughs> and she we couldn't budge her i mean literally my daughter was oh. carrying her and you know we're doing this to her and she would they laid her down on the rock and like come on <laughs> wake up wake up not a budge carried her back to the car and then the next day they went to um the rock jumping yes they, they, there was some high cliffs that you can oh jump into gosh. that's scary i twinched my back that morning so i and i was happy to not go do but i loved it, that, it was it was great that it wasn't that on father's day it was on father's day and zach mm -hmm. her uh son-in-law took, took the younger two boys, two, boys, the two boys and they and i saw the video of it because zach posted it on facebook yeah you got to be friends with her on facebook too <laughs> if you guys want to see our lives but um <laughs> Yeah, and, and they, uh, they, they jumped. jumped. They were so brave. The oh younger, the younger one, especially brave. He's he's fearless. He really yeah, is. Yeah. So that was that was pretty cool. That, that was, was pretty fun. Cool. Yeah. So another fun thing. Well, anyway, back back up a little bit. When we were at um, the cabin at Red River Gorge, the first night Saturday, because we eloped, Mark and I eloped, and we didn't have a, a right. whatever a, 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 a reception or a dinner or anything. My daughters made a wedding feast for us. So they oh. cooked, my, actually Zach, my son and Nick cooked um, this fantastic pork loin on the grill with, mm. I mean, it was super tasty and they made, you know, sides and vegetables and we had cake and, and that when we came so in for sweet. dinner, they played, they played a song. So we had our first dance <laughs> and they picked the right song, which was amazing. They know you so they, well. Yeah, now. it was um, The Luckiest by Ben Folds. Um, so we, we danced our first dance and, and Zach, Selena and Alex each toasted us with, and it was beautiful, made me cry, made, made Mark cry too. Don't tell him I told you that, but yeah, it was super, super sweet. That is so sweet. So I love did, your girls. Yeah. So that was our, and Zach's one of my favorite people. <laughs> yeah. He's crazy it was, and I love him. It was, it was super awesome. I, I was that very is. surprised. I, I like I Nick too, that. by the way. Oh yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> But, but that, that is so well, sweet. Yeah. I that don't. Was, that was moved. super awesome. Oh, yeah, I love that. That is so sweet. So, so have you been stitching? Yes, I have. But before I tell you about my stitching, I want to tell you what my seven-year-old grandson That's told amazing. me. That's amazing. Because he's like, they call me Ging Ging. Whatever. He's like, Ging Ging, I want to sew. I, I want to sew. I know how to sew. Because we, we sewed at an art class at school, oh, so I can yes. sew, and I'm really good at sewing. Can I, we, can I sew with you? Yeah, sure. You, you can do that. So he wanted to, to stitch a lion. So we were looking on Etsy, and we found this really simple um, four-color, thank you, four-color mm -hmm. lion pattern. 
I'm gonna flash it real quick just because it's so this this was what he chose to do. And we went to I took him, he spent the night with me one night last weekend, and I took him up to Michael's and we got some fabric <laughs> and we got his own thread and a hoop. And look what he did. Yay! It's a leg. It's a lion's leg. <laughs> Isn't it great? And look at how good his little stitches are. That's amazing. Little Show man. his back too. Yeah. So he's doing great. He is. You know. So it's it's a little bit of a struggle. The fine motor skills aren't quite there, but you know what? He's really giving it a go, and he wants to finish this. He and wants he wants to, to do, do it. it with Gingy. And he wants to do it with Gingy. So I was, was like. Yes, I'll stitch with you. Of course I will. So yeah. that was fun. So that, that was so sweet. So, so that is um, that is his whip. <laughs> I, uh, I love that. I, I have one whip that I've been whipping for a while, and that's my spring fling. Did you put it on the right way this time? I don't know. Spring fling. <laughs> There's a bunny in there. Which way? There's... <laughs> I still do. So I have Brenda Gervais, um, spring fling. Uh, yeah, I love the way it's coming. So it's um, it's oh coming along. Gosh. Yeah. So you can see I've got his ear. He got his second cheek done. I did some of the vines in here. Yeah. I got the. There's a little bird at the top of the pattern there. You can see him up there. So I've got his little hat. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's coming so along. But adorable. he's so cute. And look, I got his eyeballs. His eyeballs are in. <laughs> So he's he's really sweet. I that really is like him. really. I I think I will do that sometime because I just love that. Yeah, it's a super sweet pattern. So that mm -hmm. that's my whip for uh, for this week. Mm -hmm. And I have a whip. Um, it's the same whip that I've been working on. Which <laughs> you and me both. I will work. Yeah, <laughs> I will do this at StitchCon. So I'm so excited about it though. So you all know I changed all the colors, but we I need to list here. these out too. By the way. Yeah, we do need to list these. So what I love is I did the grapevine, and I don't know if you can see the purple, but it is so beautiful against that light purple M, I'm telling you. And then, and then I did the birds, and this is a bird feeder with a little blue bird in there and a little, you know, vines. The bird bath. The bird bath. Yeah, it's a bird bath. That's right. And then this. This cardinal was here, but this... <laughs> you just changed the bird. Made it I more made birdish. the bird up because, Lisa, I mean, I showed her how I made the bird sitting up. Lisa, we were looking at the pattern. No offense to anybody, but Lisa said, that looks like a pile of poop. Like the little poop emoji. Anyway, I think it was the bird looking down at the birdhouse is what I think it is. Yeah, and so I did that. And then there's supposed to be another bird here. But it's just kind of like sitting there. And what I did, what I'm gonna do is put him in flight. I'm gonna have his wings coming so that he'll come down to the uh, bird feeder. So ah, uh, it's just coming so it's super well. Cute. It's it super is. Cute. I'm I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. And that's the only thing I've stitched on, <laughs> just because. Well, I mean, you know what? I was I camping. Actually, I well, I actually had. Um, did work on another project a couple weekends ago. I think it was first Friday. At first Friday, mm -hmm. <clears throat> up at Keepsakes, um, was the start of the 24 hours of oh, stitching. Yeah. Yes. So we went to first Friday. Crystal and I went, and I don't normally go to, to the first Friday, but Mark was out of town, so I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll go. I had planned on just staying for a couple hours, but I ended up staying until they closed. And, and then, so Pam started the 24 <laughs> hours of stitching. It started at 4 p.m. So Chris and I are like, hey, you know what? Let, let's do that. We can do that. So we did. So at 4 o'clock, I switched over to um, my Quaker piece. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I haven't stitched on it for a while. So I started working solely on Quaker piece for 24 hours. I didn't make 24 I hours. I spent the night at her house. Yeah, Crystal That's came over. That's the only way I would have stayed up. Crystal came over. We stitched until 5 a.m. <laughs> until yep. we were... Yeah. We took a little bit of a nap to go and then got back nap, up got a... and started stitching again. So I, I still didn't make the 24 hours. I, I think I stitched for 17. But they said that it was 24 in, in, a two, four, in, in, two, day. in two days. Right. So, yeah. But but I, I did my 17 hours and I finished my Quaker piece. 
So I count that as a success, even though it wasn't 24 hours. It was Where only, is it? It's right here. <gasps> Yay! So my Quaker piece is done, done, done. I love it. It is. Here it is. Oh my gosh, I love that. Isn't it great? That is so awesome. It turned so out so awesome. beautiful. Yeah. So this is on Shenanigans. The color is Shenanigan by um, Seraphim Hand Dyed. Finally, fabrics. someone finished this. Finally, somebody finished the shenanigans. Now, here's the here's the pattern. You know, right. Piece by remembering bygone stitches. But if you'll notice, it's kind of hard to see the peace sign. Yeah. It's so the red is the peace sign, mm -hmm. and the blue is the background. Can you hold that? And, and then, she did hers in just two. Yeah. So, well, there's just two colors also, but right. mine is two colors. So I chose to do. Um, this is. I think this is General Arts Flax, mm -hmm. and this darker one is DMC 167. Mm -hmm. If you know, I'll try to get that in the notes. I've been very bad about getting notes attached mm -hmm. to our videos lately, but those are the colors that I used. If Love anybody it. likes that, so. Love it. Finished, yay. That is so awesome. Yay. Oh, you know what? I have another finish too. You do have, have more finishes. So this one's kind of funny because this is a 2018 stitch mania no mania no it was stitch yeah mania. it was mania a stitch mania. it was a mania start that i finally finished so this is i love it um the designer's mosey and me it's, just, it's called um yuletide greetings u e y e w e yuletide greetings um by Mosey push and me. closer that is so stinking yeah. cute so i changed it a little bit because i wanted her face to be really the bold <laughs> black face like in the movie Babe when he goes to the fair and he has the, the black face sheep that he's herding and he says, you have such a bold features, bold features. I wanted <laughs> bold features. So. <laughs> I love that. So this is my, that who is finishes adorable. this thing? How cool is that? I haven't had a finish in, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a finish. Well, I will have I three remember. finishes. Um, I just got the buttons for my Scatter Freedom Yay. and for my Easter Parade, which oh, is not fantastic. really called Easter Parade. Um, yeah. That's and so I will have summer. So I will have three within probably StitchCon. At StitchCon, I'm hoping to do all three of them. Awesome. And then I will have an FO and then getting them framed. That'll be awesome. That is, that is I'm great. looking forward to it. Yes. Besides meeting you all. So yeah. the chances of me probably finishing. Mm. Fat. Fat chance. Slim. No, because slim I will chance. probably yeah. be so excited about putting real people to names. I will be so excited to do that. And I will do my best. <laughs> You'll so, have to come up and say we, hi. But she does move around sometimes. Do we want to talk about what we're doing next? Yes. So... You want to go no, ahead? You, you go. Okay, so at StitchCon, we are going to do a start. And we, 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 So, we, we are, we, 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 we are going to do a now. start. <laughs> we, we, are, we are French now. <laughs> and actually, I bought yours too. <gasps> you bought, aww. So, we are going to awesome. start Plum Street. You weren't supposed to Hello Winter. Well, Aww. I wanted to make sure that we could both get it. Now, I've already kitted mine up. So I love this. I know. Oh, my gosh. You guys, it is so cool. I I love all the swirlies in it. As soon as I saw it, actually. Did you see the other seasons? Oh, yes. I know. So I'm I was like just going to say, Plum Street is rising to, to compete with my uh, Shepherd's Bush. That's how much I love it. It's rising quickly, so, it says one of my favorites, because I just love this. So I was debating doing all four seasons on one piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. That would be Instead totally of swapping awesome. things out, because they're all so cute. They're they all are. so cute. They are. So this is, this is actually, this, this is going to be our StitchCon start. It will be our start. It'll be my finish. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I will start and finish because I really, really do love this so much. Oh, I did not so know much. you were buying that for me. Thank you, I sweetie. Know. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. And so, um, yeah, keepsakes 
had uh, one of them there. Oh, and fantastic. so I, I I snagged it when I saw it. I'm like, I know <laughs> when she's, you went on Wednesday. Well, yes, because you couldn't, go, cause you couldn't go. And then the other thing, I was just like, you're so busy here. I knew that it would be hard for you to get up there, so I snagged it really quick so you didn't have to like rush. Oh, you're the best. So thank you. You're the best. I. She's the best. Oh. <laughs> I just love her. Um, so we want to talk about some haul. Um, my haul are PDF. I did buy it a oh, couple times, right. but I don't know how to show them because I don't have a, you know, they, my printer's black and white because it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. And I can't show you on my iPad because we're recording we're on it. it. So I'll, I'll figure out something and, and for next time. So my haul, I wanted to show you guys, um, you know, I joined that Crazy Annie's Ornament of the Month. Well, finally, finally. I knew it had to be here sometime soon. But a snowman came. Oh, you love snowman. I love him. I love the border that she puts on. I do too. And what I love is that they're all going to be, you know, similar. Mm -hmm. And um, so that they're going to be on the tree. And I just love it. And then, okay, so I always browse through stash unloading, and, and lately uh, my finances are crazy, so I have been off of stash unloading for a while because uh, I wrecked my car, mm -hmm. so I'd pay a $1,000 deductible, our furnace, blew furnace out. went out, AC blew, yeah, AC, so someone's coming on Wednesday, we've not had AC this whole oh. summer, and it's been hot. I have to take a cold shower before bed just to, you know, get all the stickies off of you and everything. Oh. So, but I came across these and I just loved them and they were only like $2 a piece. So, um, and they were all from the same person. So the first one is every, every bunny loves some bunny. And I know it looks old and everything, but there's one bunny that I flip and fell in love with. Can you guess which one? I guess right away. Yes, you did. <laughs> I love this bunny here and with the big the ears and, and the, the wheat. wheat. So I am going to be, um, I saw this, and I think this was only like $1.50. Um, I am going to stitch him. He's cute. I just love him. Super cute. So, and then, we all know sunflowers. I'm just going to dedicate a wall to sunflowers. You should do that. I am going to just dedicate a wall to sunflowers. And one year, that's all I'm going to stitch are things with sunflowers. <laughs> that was a great idea. I am. That is and a so great idea. And so this is Flowers in the Sun by um, Cross, my heart. Cross My Heart. And so I really, really liked these a lot. And then the next one is Summer's Humming by Cross My Heart. Oh my. And it's got a hummingbird Check in it. Check him out. And that's gonna be a lot of stitching. That's gonna that be a lot. Maybe. Is the background solid? Uh, solid stitching on that one? It looks uh, like it. It it's almost full, looks like a hay. Yeah, it's a full yeah, coverage. It is. So awesome. that'll be my four year hay, even though it's not a hay, but it's <laughs> darn close. It's just full coverage. It is full coverage. That's that's pretty beautiful. But so that's yeah, fun. so I got those and I'm so excited about it. Because I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to dedicate a wall. I think that's a fantastic idea. I have something to share with you guys, though. Yeah. At first Friday, we were all talking about organization. And people were talking about, so how do you store your floss? Mm -hmm. How do you store your fabric? I've seen a lot of people even mentioning on um, Stitch Mania, how do you guys store your fabric? How do you store your floss? How do you store your charts? Well, I wanted to show you because I'm getting all organized. I, I, I love how you store your charts. Yes, I store my charts in three ring binders. Okay, this may be a little excessive. Never, but never. Shepherd's Bush is my favorite. This whole binder is dedicated to Shepherd's oh. Bush. <laughs> These are new ones. So, and I start out... So, she's got them all. Yeah. And I start out with the seasons. So, spring is there, yeah. then summer, and then all yeah, the way that's, to that's winter. that's a great way to do it. And so, basically, what I do is when I get some new ones, which these aren't new, but they're I new haven't... New. They're Well, but I haven't even... They're not even new, like, recently new. It's just that I... Uh, what I do is when I get them, I... Here's loose... 
and I always keep extra sleeves in my book and so I will take and I will just put them in here until I have time and so loose and then I will then put them in the sleeves and then put them in the appropriate category. Uh, category. Now I was talking with some people on uh, at Stitch Mania and they said that they keep theirs in, in like tubs or something but they keep them not according to designers but according to season. I kind of like the designer thing so that when I go look for something, I've got, I know that it's a shepherd's bush or it's a plum or it's a uh, cricket or whatever it is mm -hmm. and uh, Sam Sarah. So I will go straight to the book and then all I have to do is find the season and it's just easier for me. So that's what I do. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Mine are in a box in the back of a closet right now, and I want to get to them yeah. so badly. Well, and I have a, a bookshelves that I just store them on the bookshelves so that, and I have a label maker, but I Oops, don't so have my label yet. You almost got me. Oh! oh. <laughs> that would have been fun. Oh my gosh, that would not have been good. Um, but so I've got a label maker, so I'm going to put it to where I can actually see, but on the... Um, on the, the bookcase, I just have them in alphabetical order. Some are little, little notebooks. Some are bigger notebooks. Um, that's my biggest notebook. So, Those binders would actually fit in that cabinet without me taking those pieces of wood out. Yeah, I might there. have to play with that to see before I buy a saw and destroy yeah. the cabinet. And these are so cheap. Right. So okay. cheap, and you can buy a really, really big thing of the plastic sleeves. One of the other things that I've been doing... Um, when I work, you know how sometimes, and, and this happened to me so much, sometimes our patterns get all yucky whenever we, you know, don't, you know, are doing it and you kind of have it clipped. Well, what I've done, I can show you the back now, uh, because there's nothing there. What I've been doing now is keeping my patterns in these sleeves and just opening up to which, you know, what I'm working on so that it protects them the whole time so that I don't fold I mean, instead of making a copy of it, instead of making a copy of it, um, because what do you do with the copies when you're done? You're you can't pass them along; it's illegal. And so I just keep them in here, and uh, that way everything stays nice. If I ever plan to give them away or let someone borrow it, um, it's just easy, and it it doesn't wear and tear and get all yucky like my earlier rookie moments. Some of them are just absolutely destroyed from opening and everything else on them. <laughs> you should see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then I like to highlight on the complicated then, ones. So yeah, well, so and I, that's, that's why that's why I make that's why to I copy. Can, that's why I make that copies, is a so. very good reason to copy. Anyway, um, I don't deal I think with that that's thing. I think that's all we. That's it for us. So well, I don't know if it's short or not, but it but is you, what it you is. Have something you wanted to do for our viewers. I do! <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Coke. <laughs> I anyway, so to celebrate a couple of things. One, to celebrate, how about to celebrate um, my wedding? To celebrate yes. my finishing, uh, finally finishing Quaker Peace. And uh, um, celebrating 1,000 subscribers. subscribers. That's pretty we cool. Love you guys. We are going to do finally a giveaway, and we are going to do Quaker Peace. So if anybody is interested in the Quaker Peace giveaway, don't um, mention giveaway. Don't mention giveaway. Don't mention freebie. Don't mention blah, 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 all the things you're not supposed to. So just say, I'd like the Quaker piece in your comments, and we will randomly do a random draw. Yeah, we'll randomly select one and, uh, and next pass week, it on on our next. Not, next week is StitchCon. So the week so after it'll be the Stitch following. Con. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll give away Quaker piece. And since Lisa is going to be mailing all of ours because I am the worst procrastinator in the mm -hmm. world, it will get to you. Mm hmm. Because <laughs> I'm really. Well, yeah, so anyway, yeah. We'll, we'll do that next time. So, yeah, so just let us know if you would like Quaker Peace. And it's um, beautiful, it was fun, really fun to stitch. Yes, so that now is all. Yes, how did I forget that? I, don't know. I, I was so excited about that. Crystal, I'm done with it. We can do this, we can finally give it away. Yeah. Uh,
Anyway, <laughs> thank you we, again. Yes. We really appreciate you we guys love hanging you guys with us so and much. Listen to us babble on and on. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we do. Anyway, I'm Lisa. And I'm Crystal. And we are Stitching the Dream.